Welcome to Somewhere in Arizona, the show that takes less traveled, occasionally dangerous paths to find inspiring Arizonans who are pursuing their dreams and making a difference in the lives of others. I'm your host, Angela Almanza. Today we're going to meet two fascinating people who are making a big impression, but in very different ways. First up is Arizona native Mark Trombino, a motivational speaker, actor, and author of the book Life is Short. Mark uses humor and personal experience to teach kids about tolerance and acceptance. Taking on the school bully is not a tall order for Mark Trombino. My name is Mark Trombino and I'm a motivational speaker. I just feel such a need and a, almost an obligation or something in my heart saying I need to make a difference in the world and this is feel how I feel like I can do it, especially with kids. I mean, I do speeches to adults and to um, corporations, but my passion is making a difference with kids. I'm hoping to open the kids' minds to being more sympathetic and empathetic towards each other and hopefully cutting down on the bullying that's really happening in schools. What is the number one thing that you would like people to get out of this when they leave? Just to be more open-minded, to realize that we live in America and America is the melting pot of the world. And sometimes I think we forget, and so someone, when someone is different, they automatically gravitate towards that and feel like they need to pick on someone or say something mean. And I want them to realize that the words and the actions that they are using can seriously make a huge difference in how someone feels about themselves, not just today, but well into tomorrow. Kids can now be bullied literally 24 hours a day. It used to be when you were bullied, it was maybe in front of a few kids at school and that was it. Well, now someone can go onto Facebook, post something mean or take a picture of someone inappropriately and, and post that. And literally millions of people can see it not only that day, but forever. Someone can take a snapshot, print the page, whatever, and it can be out there forever. So it's a, it's a whole new ball game. The, the um, technology has really enabled kids to bully someone anytime, anywhere. I asked Mark if he experienced a lot of bullying growing up. Really not a lot of bullying for me personally. I felt very lucky. I think it's for a couple of reasons. One is my family never moves. And I think oftentimes bullying can happen if, if it's a new student that goes into a school where they're the, you know, no one really knows them. I was really lucky and the kids I went to uh, second grade with, I went on to you know eighth grade and then high school. So I really had a good group of friends. And also I've just always been very confident. And my parents really believed and instilled in me a confidence that I could do anything that I wanted to do, that my size shouldn't be get in the way of anything that I wanted to do. How do audiences respond to Mark? I think the high schoolers have their jaw oh, you know, dropped. You know, they have and I don't tell the school or I tell the school not to mention anything about my size. So unless they know me or know or they've seen me on campus, I try to I hide before I go out there. So I use the element of surprise to my advantage when I come out there. Um, but I, afterwards, I get a lot of people that want to take pictures with me on, for their Facebook, for their uh, MySpace and things like that. So it really like I change, I, even in the 45 minutes that I talk, it goes from, oh my gosh, you know, either he's strange or I've never seen that to, <clears throat> wow, I want to meet him. I want to put him on my Facebook. I want, you know, I think it's great. So I know in that 45 minutes, I'm going to educate them about the differences that we all have. Mark studied acting at the University of Arizona and today is a professional actor. I do a lot of commercials in the Valley. I've, I've been on a number of the Arizona Lottery commercials, Stone Creek Furniture, and then I'm also involved in um, a lot of promotions. I do um, every year I'm in the Tim and Willie show, which is a lot of fun, which is a um, the breakfast show at night where they do a charity event for their foundation. Um, I'm also on the Beth and Friends show often, um, different things like that. So I guess I'm, uh, when they have a need for a little person, whether it's um, for a, a character actor or some type of a promotion, then oftentimes I get the call and people now recognize me from different things I've done. We ask Mark, what is the most challenging aspect about being a little person? The most challenging aspect for me is just the general physical stuff, the things that most people take for granted. Um, shopping, you know, using, um, reaching things off a high shelf, using an elevator, you know, oftentimes the buttons are too high, uh, walking, just anything more than about two to three blocks, I'm very tired. My legs 
get very tired. So just things that the average person takes for granted, I have to always think strategically using a public restroom. You know, I have to make sure where the handle is so that I don't get stuck in a bathroom because that's happened before. I'm really much more similar to you guys and to your parents that I am different. I'm smaller, but that's about it. You know, I do everything that a regular dad does. I watch football on Sundays. I, you know, I hang out with friends. I, I do everything and my size does not limit me from anything that I want to do in my life. Mark's story is inspirational. He reminds us that any obstacle can be overcome and that our differences are what makes us each special. Life is precious and that we don't really know what's going to happen and to embrace every moment. And that, that, that holds true with kids or adults. And the other one, I guess, would just be that we're all different. Again, with kids and adults, I really try to emphasize that each of us has different qualities, things that we're, some people are good at, some, people, some things that we struggle with. So those are the two, no matter what I talk about, what age group or what demographic I talk to, there's, those are the themes. So, but now if it's kids, I go into more obviously about bullying. With adults, it's a little bit more about um, finding your inner peace and things like that too. Do you know of an inspiring Arizona story? You can contact us on Facebook. Search for Somewhere in Arizona.